It's my birthday? Not exactly. I thought that's what you said. Except you said, it's your birth now. It's not your birth now. Ow! Goodbye, Sean. Goodbye, Sean. If I don't see you again, it's been really fun. I'm just saying, what are they called? Pleasantries? Is that what they're called? Oh, yeah, pl niceties? <laughs> it's just a nicety. What is a pleasantry? I'm a tree. A pleasantry. Pleasant. Pleasant? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tree that goes pleasant. If, like, you know how Pokemon make noises? <laughs> like, they say their names? If yeah. trees, like, said their <laughs> names? <laughs> Oak. Oak, oak. Oak, oak. <laughs> Willow! <laughs> Sycamore! <laughs> <laughs> Cherry blossom! Pine! <laughs> Maple! Maple! <laughs> Maple! <laughs> oh, did it disconnect again? Hello? Hello, it definitely did. This finicky hardware. No. Can you do some Pokemon? I think you should be able I think you should do some impressions and I should try to guess what they are. Of the cries? Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, I need to think of some good ones. Do you wanna register your wait what? I already, I've already registered. I didn't bring the game. I brought Sun. I have Sun in here, not Ultra Sun. I don't have the Pokemon on Sun. Let's take a walk. <laughs> oh, this has been a headache. It smells like taco. There's one Jimmy Neutron episode where Jimmy becomes like really dumb <laughs> and he tries to do a brain blast and when it goes into his head, it's just like a monkey with like <laughs> the symbols with the symbols clapping. Sometimes I feel like that's my brain. <laughs> <laughs> like I like I leave like like my brain goes to the bathroom and then just for a split moment, it's just the little monkey of the tambourine and I don't really know where I am. What's going on? <laughs> And then I get that checked out. And I walk back into the room like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, you ready to do this? <laughs> yeah. Uh what's going on guys? Wait, we're starting now? Well yeah, why not? I thought you had to press something. No, I just when I I I have it <laughs> programmed so when I say what's going on guys, it starts recording. I am not ready this moment. Well, tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Recording off. What the fuck? What? It's OBS. What's OBS? Optimal broadcasting software. You need to recording on them. I said what? Yeah, because I've changed. The, I've changed the command to what's going on, guys. That way, if I don't want to go over there. But wouldn't it start recording after you say that? So wouldn't you have to say what's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? No, like when it hears the woo. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh no! Sorry, <laughs> recording off. <laughs> Somebody told me I laughed like a whale yesterday. But I'm whales don't laugh. laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what idiots will do that? <laughs> Alright, ready? Recording <laughs> 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 off. Ahem. <laughs> 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 
I am the Pokemon World Champion, and I am a very serious player. I take Pokemon and my YouTube channel very seriously. It's Pokemon. There's an E over there. There's an accent. Thank over there. you very much. Please don't. Okay. Ready? <laughs> I can't think of this. <laughs> oh, I, try, I actually, if you clap three times instead of two, it, it turns off the, um, the thing. The, mm -hmm. the, 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 Alright, ready? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to... I think I called this VGC with friend? Friends? I think I called it VGC with friends, but it's actually VGC with friend. I only have one friend. The recording's gonna be like... Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're here. Last time we had a team building episode. This time we have a... Uh, battling? battling? Battling episode. Yeah. Um, I'm here with Robbie. Hi. What do, you, what do you have to say to the people at home? Um... It's been a great week. Um, on my off time, I used the team and fought against people, and I lost every one. So <laughs> I gave him the team on showdown, and he lost every single one. So there was one that got really, really close, and it was just pe I actually made a couple of good reads, but I wound up losing all. <laughs> anyway, that's okay. Okay, we're five and one, so that's pretty good. Um, You're five and one. Yeah. 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 So anyway, I think what we're gonna do with this is just like keep it kind of like not like super deep, but just kind of figure out like the the first level. There's like levels in Pokemon where like okay. you can like attack what's on the field, and then you can attack what's in the back. It's like expecting a switch. So we're just gonna focus on, like exactly right on that, um, and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah. Generally, I think my role today is going to just be asking why. Okay. Like, so you, you don't want to be in charge yet. We'll do that mm, in the next episode. No, like I wanna like give me, but like yeah. also I like. If you you're gonna be telling me what to do, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be asking, well, why, Wolf? Yeah. Why am I doing that? Yes. I think that's fair. Okay. But we're looking for a battle, and everyone is terrified. Hello. Hello. Is Hello? this how, is this what you do on your channel? You just like pr you search for people, and yeah. then they appear. Yeah. Well, sometimes they don't appear, but hopefully they appear. It looks like we're falling down like a really, <laughs> really big, big, big hole. hole. <laughs> 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 oh no <laughs> we're like two in sync <laughs> uh, it really does hello mm, 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 oh we have to climb mm, mm. find opponent sponsored by taco bell i've never had taco bell you know it's not many vegetarian options yeah i think they have quesadillas they have bowls like where the bowls have like beans and lettuce and cheese it looks really sad yeah it's like when you get a salad at mcdonald's <laughs> you shouldn't be getting a salad at mcdonald's oh but now mcdonald's doesn't go sponsor me darn is it what happened well no, I, said, I was making fun of their salads no what happened on oh the screen? They, it said we, they, we couldn't find an opponent so we're trying again this is gonna be a really boring yeah boring. we're like seven minutes in like that i can end it out we're seven minutes in yeah Time flies. It's been seven minutes. Yeah. Time flies when you're falling down a big hole. <laughs> Did you ever watch? I think it's. Is it in Spy Kids where like? Yeah. They fall down and there's like a fan. Oh, oh, yo, this guy's from Japan. Really high rank. Oh, we got disconnected. Why? No. Ah, uh, well, I hope Mr. Japanese guy isn't mad at us. I hate when people are alive <laughs> and they breathe and they swallow. Oh my god. Ah. Uh... Worst birthday ever. And we're back. Alrighty. Okay, another Charizard team. Shh. Okay. So, Charizard threatens us, so we have to bring Politoed. Uh. This is really tricky, to be honest. I don't. Kn I don't recognize any. Of I mean, I. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Salamence is solid because it, it's good against like most of these boys, but. Hydreigon's a problem, and that Naganadel is a problem. Yeah. Um. So I think Ludicolo to buy us some time with Fake Out also be immune to uh, Moongus is good, and this time maybe Aegislash Slash in the back. This gives us Fake Out pressure. Um. It gives us um another bulky boy. Um. And it lets us. It gives us Aegislash, Slash, which is really good against Gardevoir. Can be good against Naganadel as well because it's Poison Dragon. Um. Lets us possibly get Tailwind up, which could be good. Um. Oh, that just happened so fast. Uh. Sorry, team preview. Team preview is tricky. Like I think yeah. it's just something you get used to, and you kind of like I okay. can't really explain team preview. It's just something you kind of learn okay. over time. 
So yeah. Thanks for not helping. I was trying. I'm trying my best. Ooh, you look so. <laughs> That's not me. Oh. This is me. The he's, default. He's trainer. wearing that. Uh, what's that Pokemon? That new one? That dragon. Come on, mo mo. Come, come on, mo. Hmm. Hmm. And Ag boy. Okay. So. I. I mean, so Salamence can do those flying boys mm -hmm. on Amoongus. Mm -hmm. And Ludicolo can do fake out at Gardevoir. Yeah, but the problem is that he might be Cobra Berry, so he might be able to survive. So you're right. If he's not Cobra Berry, we can just get rid of him. But if he is Cobra Berry, then we'll take a nap. Salamence will take a nap. Yeah. Because he mm -hmm. won't do Spore on Ludicolo. Mm -mm. The only reason why I know Spore is because I watched the last episode. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Amoongus does Spore stuff. Yes, that's exactly what Amoongus does. Okay. So do what you would do. Okay, I think that what I would do is I'd actually get Aegislash in here. He, this is Rage... He's trying to go Trick Room here. That's what he wants. So I think I'd get Aegislash in here and... But and why won't, Aeg won't Aegislash fall asleep? No, because we're going to fake out the Amoongus instead. And that way we don't mm. have something that takes a ton of damage from... Like, Gardevoir can do Hyper Voice. Um, or Dazzling... Oh. Or Hyper, because, yeah, Hyper Voice is generally stronger, but... So is Gardevoir a Mega Gardevoir, probably? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be... Which Wait, but that means he doesn't have Mega Charizard. Because it's Mega Gardevoir. So he doesn't have Charizard. Or if he does, he can't make a all of it. So now, if we set rain, it's going to be permanent, which is really good. Permanent for five turns. Yeah, like he can't or he can't override it. Is yeah. what I mean. That black dress. Oh. Uh, with the tights underneath. Oh my god, that could have gone so badly for him, but he sets trick room. All right, this is bad. <laughs> yeah, trick room teams. I don't really know what to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This okay. Be bad. So well, but isn't he? Isn't Gardevoir really fast? Yeah, but the problem is Amoongus is really slow, so we're going to take a nap probably. And there's no way we can't do anything about it. Already tried faking him out. Yeah, so I thought I thought he'd I thought he'd go for hyper voice because otherwise he would take damage. But um, this turn, I think we just try and play defensive and just try and waste his hashtag waste his time. Okay. Um. Okay. We're so just gonna try and stall at the turns. He the fortunate thing is neither of these boys can do any damage to Aegislash. Okay, so why did you switch in Politoed? Because I didn't want to switch in Salamence and I wanted to get Ludicolo out so I could get fake out in again later. Okay, and then that boy's gonna do. He's spore on us. And he, the, the Why go, didn't we protect? We well, our King Shield doesn't protect against spore. Ew. Which is really annoying. <laughs> okay, so nap time. We'll take some damage. Hyper voice, and it's fairy. It did a lot. Was that a crit? Okay, it just does a lot of damage. All right, we. Okay, so what do you think here? I mean, you wanted to stall, so we have, but you. I mean, you want to switch in Ludi. Eventually, yeah. But this isn't like I don't I don't know. This is really tricky. We're gonna try and wake up, I think. How? Uh, okay. With Age Slash and with Amoongus, I think uh, with with um Polly, we we probably want to protect. Why? Because we don't want to take a nap. We're That's trying to burn true. the turns. Okay. Although if we wake up, this could actually be bad. Okay. It's actually better if we stay asleep. Okay, solid. Why is it better? Um, because if we'd woken up, we would have died to Hyper Voice, and that would have been bad. Oh, because we would have gone, gone to Blade to, Form. Yeah. yeah, we're taking a lot of damage. Um. Okay. We can switch in Politoed for Ludicolo. Ludicolo. That way he doesn't fall asleep. And we could actually use Wide Guard. To stop him from hyper voicing. Yeah. And then, we, and then next one we can go for fake out. Okay. That makes sense. But what happens if he doesn't wake up? <laughs> We're going to take some damage. <laughs> no! That was the only... We were guaranteed to wake up next turn. Okay. Boop. Keeper Voce. Uh, it's a lot of damage. I can't believe how much that's doing. Like we're we're super, like we're actually pretty bulky. All okay, right, fake out. Yeah, and who do you want to who do you want to shadow ball here? We're gonna we can we can attack one of these boys. Well, guard of I don't I don't know guard of war because she's killing us, but Amoongus is making us go to sleep. So I don't know. Let's get yeah I, I like that. Let's get guard of war because if 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 trick room doesn't go up again, we're gonna be like we're gonna be in a good yeah, position that to stop Amoongus. Amoongus, right? yeah, Amoongus. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah, good call. Cause guard, cause we'll go before guard. Board. Yeah, we're guaranteed to wake up here, and we're, we know that we're slower because we've been <clears throat> sleeping first. I don't know. Okay. Boop. All right. So guardy's gone. We've taken some damage. But doesn't it have a very strong special defense? 
No, yeah, but this is this is like one of the strongest moves in the game. Okay. And like, and it's super effective. That's like we might, we might have been able to KO it with with Shadow Ball as well, but I just in case I wanted to use the Z move because um this way, even if he protected, we could KO next turn with Scald because it was okay. gonna do so much damage. Like, okay, so all this made sense. Yeah, to me. So okay. far, like we like so we played defensive. We got a little unlucky. We got the maximum turns of sleep, but like. Using Protect and using Age of Slash's bulk, we got rid of Gardevoir. We're still not in a great position, but it's no. better than it could be. Um, we still have all our resources left as well, and Trick Room is up. So basically, we've taken a lot of damage on these two. In return, we've learned Amoogus' item, which is really valuable. And what is it? It's Rocky Helmet, which means uh, Salamence yes. can always KO with Double Edge, um, if he wants. Because if it was the oh, Flying versus Berry, then it would be, yeah. Okay, that's a sneaky boy. This guy's a problem. Naginadil? Yeah. His weaknesses are dragon, ice. rock, ice, not fairy. What do you want to do this turn? Either I think we can, we probably we can, we're probably gonna want to ice beam one of these guys. Um, Whoa. sorry, I don't know. Like, do we want him to go back into? No, we want him to attack because he's in attack form now. I'm afraid Nagendo's gonna protect. So what if we, what if we kind of cover both? The thing is, icy wind Politoed can put both these guys into hyper voice range. Okay. Or like and make us outspeed him, which is good. So I think I think just attacking both is solid. Okay, so he didn't actually protect, which is nice. a bad move. But his well, yeah, he's gonna live unfortunately, but he can take a good chunk of damage. Freeze! Oh, dang. All right, that was a really bad move on his part because if we just gone for um, if we just went for if we double into Naganadel, then oh no. Okay. Wait, special attack. I think that means that he's not max speed. I think that means he's not max speed. If he gets a special attack boost... Hmm. Okay, Substitute Amoongus. Well, we have... So, Salamence is really the only thing... Uh, well, Ice. No, Polyto but we, Polyto Icy Wind wouldn't, wouldn't get rid of the Substitute. But no, but we can beat, we can always beat the Amoongus. I'm worried about the Naganadel. Hyper Voice goes through Sub. Um, so, now we have to choose... I don't know if Naganadel's special attack boosting means that it's modest. I think it is. It hits, like, 194. It can't be... I think you want to take a risk. Okay, I don't know what what's risk. Either he's modest or timid. I think the fact I just don't remember if, if him being special attack boosting means that his special attack is higher than his speed, which mm -hmm. I think I think that means that he's not timid. He's not a shy boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is mega this is like mega YOLO time. So what did we just do? We're going to send Salamence, we're going to hope we're faster, and if Hyper Voice goes first, then we'll KO both. Yeah. And if not, we're going to lose, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Moment of truth. Oh, no, 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 come on, Salamence! Ah! <laughs> Gone. Scream and they did. We scream, they die. Bye. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. Aww. Aww. He tried his best. He was like, I just want to do my part. He's like, Ree! Ree! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dregon. Alright, and now when you're up with this many, you just attack with all your Pokemon. Yeah. Hydreigon doesn't get a good spread move, so it's probably going to lose. Well, it has to lose. We have to win. So did that all make sense to you? Like, he didn't bring Charizard, which is, like, weird, but... Other than um, that, like... Why would he have brought Charizard and Gardevoir? He couldn't have. He, he had to choose between his Charizard mo mode or his Gardevoir mode. But he should have... But he... I would have brought Charizard against our team, because it's really good against our team, but he might have been afraid of, like, Zapdos and, like, Salamence. What is our... So what is our main Charizard counters we try to outplay it we've got like basically once they mega evolve we can we, we just we like we can't switch in politoed until after they mega evolve is the thing okay. so we just have to try and like position better it's, it's kind of so if there is a charizard that we expect to be brought up we shouldn't start off with politoed no unless there's one thing we can do where like in certain situations we can use helping hand double edge and that chaos charizard okay. so we can like bait them like to like mega evolve bait. but if they have intimidate then it doesn't work because they'll reduce our attack stat okay so, like, Ludicolo is really good because we can go fake out and, like, do something with Zapdos or with um, Salamence. Okay. 
But yeah, Trick Room is so tricky. I don't know if that answered my question. So Charizard, what do we counter? We position better. We use Ludicolo, Salamence, and Zapdos to do damage and to use Fake Out and to like try and get into Mega Evolve. Um, okay. And then we once once it's Mega Evolved, we switch in Politoed. And then try and, like, once, it's whoever gets the weather advantage, it's, it's easy to keep because, like, they switch Charizard out, we switch Politoed out, and then, like, whenever they switch Charizard in, we can just switch Politoed back in. Hmm. And they're always stuck in rain. So that's, like, you just have to try and do that. But it's tricky. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Looking around, falling down this hole. Do 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 do. It's really dark. <laughs> Except for all the orange. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like we're on fire <laughs> falling down. <laughs> Those are all like the, the embers just <laughs> of like our body like yeah. burning. <laughs> wow. <laughs> while, while you wait, while you wait for your next trainer, please enjoy burning in hell. <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> I don't know why we're having so much trouble finding people today. I didn't bring my binoculars. <laughs> oh, that's oh thirteen ninety eight. This is a really low ranking. Um, you want me in charge? Yes. That's a tough matchup. Okay, what? So many Charizards. Okay. So we just talked about this. Mm -hmm. So Polytoad will be in there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we have that, we have Zapdos and Polytoad, well, okay. But Cresselia does Trick Room stuff. Cresselia also beats Salamence, which is kind of a problem. What do, we, beats what, do we do, what do we do for Cresselia? Uh, we use Aegislash. Okay. Try oh I'm doing team preview. Try Zapdos, Aegislash, Politoed Salamence. Okay. I definitely wanted to start off with Aegislash. Yeah. Cause Zapdos that way even if he leads Cresselia to Renatar, we can at least threaten like He doesn't have Tyranitar. I mean Zapdos to Char I mean Char Charizard Cresselia, we can still threaten Thunderbolt. And we can go Tailwind as well, which is good. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then... Bingo. Okay. I'm still confused what we're supposed to do, but that's fine. Like, we want to we wanna get rid of... If we get rid of... Once you get rid of... What, so, what, what the even heck is Zapdos doing here? It threatens Charizard with electric moves, and also can set Tailwind. But can he just Mega Evolve, and then he's not threatened? Doesn't he he's Mega Evolve in the beginning of the turn? Yeah, but he's still he's still, he's still flying type. Oh, okay. He doesn't lose his typing. I forgot the other one. The other one is Dragon, dragon yeah. Because when I was playing over the week, there was one that was Charizard. Fire Dragon? Yeah. Okay, hit on top Charizard. That's that's very interesting. Hmm, interesting. Um, okay, what does even Hitmontop do? It's going to try and use Fake Out against your Zapdos. Okay. So you can, you ha you're can you going to have to play defensive this turn. If you think he goes for Heat Wave, you Wide Guard. If you think he goes for... So Zapdos should Thunderbolt the, Char should, um, Thunderbolt the Charizard. But we think we're going to get Fake Out. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. But we don't, we don't have anything we can do to stop it. Okay. So Fight. Thunderbolt. Charizard. Yeah. And then, okay, so now this boy... So what are his options? He's going to want to play defensive this turn. So either he protects himself, or he protects himself and Zapdos if he uses Heat Wave, and if not, he doesn't do anything. Well, what are his other fire options? Flamethrower, Overheat. Overheat's probably not that good, but Flamethrower is, is viable. Why would he have Flamethrower over Heat Wave? So he could hit around Wide Guard. Hmm. Okay. Did we say this guy has a low ranking? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I got spiky hair. <laughs> uh, uh. Need some water. <laughs> okay, he didn't go for fake out. That could be bad. That could be really bad. Oh, no. What's going to happen? No! What does that mean? He broke wide guard. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> okay. What just happened? He, he, he wanted Zapdos gone, and he got what he wanted. Wait. <sighs> what? Overheat was the only thing he could do to KO you. All right. Get get Salamence in here. So there was nothing I could have done there. Yeah, you could have attacked, but that would have been a terrible move. So, yeah. Well, what am I going to do to Charizard? What should I get in he can't. He can't threaten anything. No, because you, you, you want to you get damage so that you can get the Pokemon advantage back. Pokemon advantage. Like, so, like, his Charizard is really weakened right now. Why? Because it took it's, it oh, it's lost special yeah it lost two stages of special attack. So if you double edge into the Hitmontop, it can't do anything to stop it. You could also Tailwind and Shadow Ball here because you're not. Why well, really can't Hitmontop do anything to stop it? Can he protect or something? They don't normally run protect. I'm a little worried about White Guard. So hit Mega Evolve. 
Mega. And then what do you you want to you want to get speed? Do you, yeah, go ahead and get speed. He, he, he's got Coco Landorus. Yeah, go go try go for talent here. Oh, okay. Then what does even Aegis Slash do? Um, why don't you go for a Shadow Ball into Charizard? Just regular Shadow Ball? Yeah. Oh. I think you want to save the Z move. <sighs> I think there's so much pressure on, on Pokemon Showdown. I can just like. Yeah, sorry, because you have a timer. Yeah. That's the problem. Ah! Why is that your scream? Okay, so, um, I'll tell you later. So he goes for Wide Guard. He was expecting Hyper Voice, which yeah. he didn't do. We're gonna hit Tailwind up, so now Aegis Lash about to be this fast boy. Wow! 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 Overheat. I was gonna do some damage. Is he doing that to my little Aegis boy? Aegis Lash, yeah, but you should live. I didn't. What? Alright, you're probably gonna lose. Okay. Against this really weak guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over yet. Until the fat lady sings. Alright, what is even. Okay, so now we're just fast, right? Yeah, now we're fast. Which is good, but what's bad is that we're probably gonna lose. So let's. You need to do some damage. So you, what do you think? I think we should do. I can't do hyper voice anymore because wide guard. Yeah, you you could do hyper voice if you want to predict him, but I think double edge is better. You should d probably double edge his Charizard and scald his um, hit him on top. Will double edging his Charizard kill him? No, but he he's gonna switch out. Oh, so whoever comes in. Yeah, so like ideally he switches in pretty much regardless of what he has in the back we lose, but maybe if he has like Cresselia and we can get it with like a cast. Um like double edge and then helping hand double edge. Yeah. Mm, it's raining water. Hallelujah, it's raining. He also could just this is a low ranked opponent, so he could just stay in. But I mean they're playing well, like they like overheated they like knew about faint, they knew about wide guard. They're about to be your boy, yeah. Charizard was out. Maybe this is Cresselia. Landorus. Okay, that's bad. Uh, my attack. Okay. He didn't go for White Guard, which is fine. Okay. Take some recoil. Ideally, we burn him here. That would be nice. Big damage. Eject button. Okay. Um, if for some reason he didn't have Cresselia, uh, the, this is still winnable. Okay, Charizard. Okay. So now weather changes. Yeah. Then I can't do anything about it. No, yeah, now we're stuck in sun forever. We really are gonna lose. <laughs> Why don't you try Helping Hand Hyper Voice? Exhausting all of my efforts. I help! Okay, switches out. Okay, we're gonna KO his hit on top. Okay. Why would he have done that? He thought we were gonna. He's trying to lower our. T he thinks we don't have hyper voice because we've all not used it yet. Mm. So he he's trying to lower our, our offensive. If for some reason he goes for solar beam here, that could be really good. Because solar beam's not gonna KO Politoed and we don't need anything. Did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. Let's go Salamence. Thanks, bud. Thanks, pal. Okay. But pretty much regardless of what he has in the back, we're not going to be able to beat it. Because we can't beat Stakatakatakatka, and we can't beat Cresselia, and we can't beat Coco. We're living that. Wow. Why did I live that? Because we're bulky boy. But it would, that should have been super effective. Send a Landorus. Send a Landorus. Send a Landorus. It's a bad move. Do it. No. Okay. Wow. We have nothing for that boy. Other than... We can make a read, though. Hmm. Okay. He's going to Dazzling Gleam, I think. So you go hyper voice icy wind. Why? Um, because that'll lower its speed. So when tailwind ends, we'll still be faster, and that way maybe we can get him next turn with helping hand hyper voice. But won't Tarzar just kill me? Nope, because you're still in tailwind. We just need. To, I don't think we live. I don't think we live dazzling gleam, but oh, he protects. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Tarzar's gone now. No, he's gonna protect as well. Yeah, and now I think we lose. Can't we just do the same thing next turn? Because now he's now is now he can go for dazzling. Now his his Salamence is faster. Oh, because he was stalling. Yeah, he stalled our tailwind. So I should have just. And I couldn't. Have we couldn't have done anything. Again. Yeah, can't stack it. Now, uh, if you click on the screen, it'll tell you. Click on click on Charizard. How many turns of center left? Two. 
Two of five. So that's how much we've done. That's how many. There's two turns left. So if, if you protect both, and it, and it happen, and you get it twice. If you get like it's like a one in. So if you go for double protect on both guys, you get it. It's a one in nine chance. Yeah. Then we have a chance of not losing immediately, but we'll probably still lose. We're almost certainly gonna lose this game. Oh. That's okay. Against this easy boy. <laughs> See, we can do that too. Yeah. Except we're going to lose. Oh, it was a Z move. We called it. Jigable Havoc. That's definitely going to put us in range. Unless he goes into Polytoad for some reason. Jigga. Although I think we'd still die. Havoc. Havoc. Coco. Oh, into Polytoad. If we live this. Yo, wait. If we go and protect Hyper Voice. Oh, we didn't live that. I got hurt. Ouch. Ouch, he said. Alright, now let's click hyper uh yeah, let's click hyper voice. We could have we could have No, nah, I guess we can protect hyper voice and then maybe one from there. I don't know. That was a, that was a weird move. Come on, Salamence! He doesn't have an item. Oh, single target. No. Oh, single target move. It means some moves hit both Pokemon and they get reduced damage because they hit both. Oh, but, but is Dazzling Glee one of them? Yeah, but um, I but, didn't realize it was a thing. Yeah, but but when you only have one Pokemon left, then then you get um the full damage. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, this is about learning, so I feel like we played a ton of Charizard, but that's it. We're, that's all we're doing. Well, for now, for this episode. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Do you have anything you want to say to the good people at home for watching us? Sorry. <laughs> I hope, as your chosen representative, I have helped you out today of all days. <laughs> um. Yes? No, don't no. save that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back later for more. See you next time. Peace.